Hi, this is Lisa Nelson from E Nutrition. I help you lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure, and lose weight. A study from the National Cancer Institute found individuals consuming the most red and processed meats to be at greater risk of death from cancer and heart disease versus those eating lower levels. This was a 10-year study that began in 1995 and evaluated the dietary intake of over 500,000 men and women between the ages of 50 and 71. The study divided types of meat into three categories, red meat, white meat, and processed meat. Red meat was defined as beef, pork, ham, bacon, hamburger, hot dogs, liver, pork, sausage, and steak, as well as the meat you find in pizza, stews, and lasagna. White meat was classified as fish, chicken, and turkey. Processed meat included white or red meats that were cured, dried, or smoked, such as bacon, chicken sausage, lunch meats, and cold cuts. Individuals eating red meat at the highest levels consumed about 4.5 ounces per day based on a 2,000 calorie per day diet. This is equal to approximately 2 pounds of beef or pork each week. This was compared to a group with the lowest intake of red meat, which was 5 ounces per week or 0.5 ounces per day. The men eating red meat at the higher levels of around 4.5 ounces per day had a 31% greater risk of dying and women a 50% greater risk of dying due to heart disease when compared to those eating the lower levels of red meat. The study found that 11% of all deaths in men and 16% of all deaths in women could have been prevented by consuming the lower levels of red meat. This doesn't mean you need to switch to a vegetarian diet. Individuals eating white meat had a slightly lower risk of death. Possible reasons for the increased risk of death linked to eating red meat and processed meat may be due to the carcinogens formed during cooking, iron and red meat causing oxidative cell damage, and the saturated fat in red meat increasing cancer risk and elevating cholesterol levels. Here are a few tips for making wise meat selections. Select lean cuts of meat, such as your loins and rounds. Choose cuts of meat with the least amount of marbling or visible fat. Trim the visible fat before cooking. Marinate before grilling. This may decrease formation of carcinogens if the meat is marinated in beer or wine prior to cooking. And broil versus frying or roast large cuts and skim off the fat. Drain oil and rinse ground beef in hot water to decrease fat content. Be sure to go to www.lowercholesterolwithlisa.com and sign up for the free e-course, How to Lower Cholesterol in 8 Simple Steps. Thanks for listening. This is Lisa Nelson, your online nutrition coach.